So the first thing I kind of want to say was apologize that this video was supposed to come out tomorrow, but you know, because I had family things or other things to talk about, um, I decided to wait until today to release that video, and I'm not gonna lie, it did give me some time to think about you know what I will say about this episode, and you know. I'm kind of made out of my mind. So, this this episode, it's very obvious that Aqua is very manipulative. Like, with anyone, he's very um, controlling. And I'm not really sure if it's because... I'm not really sure which person I like. Is this Aqua? Because, you know, is this Aqua or is this... Or is he manipulative? Because of the situation he is in, that he has to be that kind of person. Like, I wonder if this is who he is, like, after everything is done with the girls. Like, will he still be that manipulative person, or will he, you know, so on, like, uh, turn over a new leaf and be this new aqua, quote unquote, but... The reason why I say manipulative is because throughout the episode, we saw him stringing, especially Kana, or not Kana, but Akane. You saw him string Akane, like, in the middle, when he kissed her. You'd assume that, you know, Aqua would want to go out with her because he initiated the kiss, but after, after a couple, you know, some time went by and... He sat down with Locke and then he said, no, I just want this to be a work relationship. Like, I don't have any romantic relationship for you, but I do root for you as an actress. And I guess from there, Akane just accepted it. But yeah, in this episode, you could really tell that Aqua is very manipulative. And one of the main examples that I have was in the beginning when he's uh, Akane was talking about, you know, her new self, pretty much, how she accomplished her new self, and she explains to Aqua that, oh, I studied, uh, your favorite person, I, um, you know, I just did a bit of research, and, you know, on how she acted, and, you know, all her little tendencies, like speech, eyes, appearance, um, attitude, and all that, I researched, and Aqua, you know, he agrees with it, and Akane says, you know, that's how I know that most likely I had a secret child uh, when she was around the age of 15. And to that, obviously, Aqua froze, because um, she is obviously talking about him, but she doesn't know that. And, you know, it just shows how far her method of acting will go. Or how far her method acting, how far she takes method acting. And Aqua asked, you know, is it possible, like, if you, like, could you trace back eye steps and figure out, you know, what kind of guy she likes. And, you know, to that she says, you know, obviously I could, I could do that with more time. Figure out what his interests are and, you know, find the guy that. She probably had kids with or something, and that's where the manipulation happens, I guess. Because once Aqua heard that, he decided that, you know, since I could use her pretty much to find out who my father is, truly is, and he does that, and, you know, he, you know, in order to find, um, his father. Uh, his father, he uses Akane's, you know, method acting, and he's just pretty much using her in order to find this guy, his father, pretty much. But, um, the most, I, I want to talk, talk about that for a little bit, because, yeah, it just shows that Aqua is very, very manipulative person, and I don't know what. And he even says 
that he doesn't know like the mental wall that he put in his head between you know, his previous life that he had and his new identity as Aqua that wall is kind of vanishing so in his head the identity of who he was previous in his previous life and the identity of Aqua the son of the sequel son of I um those identities are kind of you know, mixing together so it will be very interesting to see how that will turn out but one thing I do want to say before I wrap up this video is that then Aqua did invite um, Memchan to, to uh, be Komachi so um, invite her to this new idol group that Strawberry Productions is putting together and he invited her and I feel like um, there's you know we don't know this yet but probably one of the main reasons he decided not to help her out was because he believes that she can you know help him locate um, his father and that's why that's one of the reasons or at least that's one of the reasons I think that he did invite her to be uh be Komachi because Munchan is very sociable and like I feel like having that power of you know what Munchan has at your disposal will be very um very you know helpful um, down the line when, when Aqua is actually trying to find more information about you know, his father pretty much so yeah just uh, overall I think this was a pretty you know, cool episode um, obviously we got a lot between uh, you know Aqua, Kana, Akane and Manchan and before I you know, kind of um in this video I want to say that there's this nice kind of um, scene in the middle where Aqua and Kana they're playing you know baseball catch and you could see that Aqua you know lowers his, ga his guard more when he's around uh, Kana like you can see when he interacts with Kana like he's more open very more relaxed and you know you could just see his less he he shows more of who he is to Kana but I feel like he is still um you know even though he does show more with Kana which does imply that he somewhat you know has feelings for her, at least feels comfortable enough to let your guard down around her I feel like even though he does that he is still playing, he's still gonna be, at the end of the day, he's still gonna try and manipulate Kana in some way. In what way, we have no idea yet, but probably as we um, move, for, um, move, you know, the more that we get closer to the end of season one, um, like I said, uh, episode 11, I believe, you know, the closer we get to episode 11, hopefully we'll see what Aqua was really cooking up. Like, like why, like, what is he going to use Kana for? Because I feel like we know what he's going to use Akane for. Probably to mm, find out the type of guy that, you know, I probably had their child with so I feel like in that regard he Ak Akin is pretty useful but I have no idea how he's gonna use Kana but um overall pretty solid episode we got we definitely got, got a lot especially that bombshell where Aqua invited Menchan to be part of B Komechi I believe but um, overall, pretty you no know, good episode. Like I said, there's a lot of things I wanted to. Um, a lot of things happened in this episode, and I can't wait to see more. Um, 
to for next week's episode and yeah but overall i think it was a pretty good episode please leave a like subscribe and see you guys next time bye